Today I'm leaving the beautiful beaches of Mazalan behind, but not for good, just for a day trip. I'm taking Highway 40D, where we'll see the world's tallest cable stay bridge and try some celebrated gorditas at a roadside stand. 40D is a toll road. If you remember a few episodes back, we rode Highway 40 Libra, also known as the Devil's Backbone, from Durango to Mazalan. Well, this road roughly parallels 40 Libra. D uses a system of bridges and tunnels to smooth out and speed up the trip across the Sierra Madres. With 68 tunnels and 115 bridges, it's deemed the biggest project in Mexico highway history. Former Mexican President Felipe Calderon called it the most complex highway project in the world. For me, it's just a lot of fun to ride and a way to get to some great gorditas. As always, there are obstacles to look out for. In this case, somebody moved a barrier into the lane. I also noticed a few storm drain covers missing. A tire going into one of those holes would be instant disaster. Some of the tunnels were light, while others were quite dark. Pupils constantly adjusting. Another reason to stay alert. It just took a minute to stop and clean the windscreen. When it was built, this was the longest cable stay bridge in the world. Now we stopped, but this is a little gordita shop. It's a beautiful, rugged country up here. It's a lot of fun to ride. I would highly recommend it. Let's see, let's get some food. This is what we got a choice of. Which one's your favorite? I'm getting to deal. Yeah. 
wood fired grill. Camp kitty. Oh, is that how many horchata in those? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a horchata. I drink it. Okay. JD rode this bridge before it was even open. Well, my Durango buddy Stephen uh, had ridden it before. We left Durango, came through the construction zone, made it all the way down to the bridge, and there was a big chain uh, stretched across it. The links were about that big. We parked our bikes at the chain, just just uh, at the exit of that tunnel, and he passed a little incentive to the uh, the guy guarding the bridge. And when the guy's boss left, he dropped the chain, and we rode across. Just on the other side, on the Cena Lewis side, it was uh, just dirt road. You get an idea how big it is when you see the cars cross. <laughs> I think I got some video of a bus going through there a while ago, and it looks pretty small. this truck. Mm, the cheat round is good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people stop here. Oh, yeah. They do a business. This is the picadillo, which is uh, beef, potato, and green sauce. I like the chili flavor. This one has really good, really good chili flavor on it. Mm -hmm. And that's a blue corn tortilla. I thought it was a corn mold tortilla, but I was quite mistaken. Eating gorditas. <laughs> Look at this view. There's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that might be better would be a cold beer. <laughs> that lunch was 105 pesos, which is just a little over four bucks for four gorditas and a big horchata. Which I found out what horchata is. It's rice milk with spices in it. It's really good. I'm not a milk drinker, but I like it. We're going to have a look at a church that was never finished. Unfinished, but in use. are outside when we pulled up. I'm glad they're not outside now. Uh. See the fuse in the stage? That's interesting. Yeah. Bulldozer right here. <laughs> well, they've been doing work out here. Yeah. It's a really neat looking building as you this drive up to it. Concept. I saw it as we drove in and I was wondering what it was. <laughs> 